And then let's see, Proxima is 2-0, and and Black Sewer Rats, if I remember correctly, are 3-0. and Yes. Oh, boy. It's gonna be fun. Oh, let me get... Does that make it too long? No, it doesn't. Right, let's put that, transform that back to the middle. Perfect. Go live. Excuse me. Oof. I'm go live. I'm just gonna like, sit here for a little bit, and I'll create. Actually, what's your epic? So I can just add you straight into the party. Uh, same. I don't already. Okay. Just same spelling. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I like to make it really easy. Oh, I like that. That makes it so much easier. <laughs> there we go. Just sent. Okay. There's a quest. Yay! And then I'm gonna just get the lobby started setting up. But yeah, I mean, once we get in, just... It's a simple, I'll just start it off, and then I'll just introduce you, of course, as owner of BBU, and then I guess you can talk about really whatever you want, talk about the team. Okay. Be, just because this is rivalry, baby, I like this. We gotta keep this going. Uh, let's see here, so... Proxima, and then Black Sewer Rats. Dog, get down. And then I'll send it to... Do you know if Dilly's playing so I can just send it to him? Uh, let me check one second. So I can just send it to Pulse, but if I can just send it to Dilly too and make it easy, that's yeah, fantastic. Send it, yeah, send it to Dilly. Cool. His hands are cold, so... <laughs> Looks like he'll be playing this week. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Now, let's do it. Dilly. There we go. Oh my, I need to get rid of some of these chats. Uh, we can get rid of that. Wow, I need to get rid of some of these chats I have. Holy mackerel. Dilly, don't start it with me. <laughs> I will be dumb. All right. <laughs> Damn it, Dilly. Don't make me. Let's see. There we go. I want you to join the party. The lobby is set up. Oh wait, you know what I? You know what help if I do? If I invite you first. There you are. Except. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so whenever you're ready, just join on in. Then I guess we'll just wait for them. And we are going to be starting here shortly. Once I just wait till the 50. Damn it! <laughs> that scares me every time. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I know we should change it, but I'm not going to. That's. Oh, Lily scared the crap out of me. So, if you hear- Damn you, Ander. <laughs> I was not ready for it again, <laughs> even though I see you guys doing it right now. There's been- Oh, uh, it's- It's- I, It has scared me midstream multiple times before. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'll be sitting there talking and just- Pinch. But- Here we go. I'll introduce you in a sec. Alright. Welcome, one and all, to the nice, fun, friendly rivalry stream we have tonight. ETS Proxima versus BBU Black Sewer Rats. And tonight's a little bit special for all those who aren't so familiar with what these two orgs have in common and our relationship as we are partners. And to keep this rivalry going and uh, have a great time tonight, make sure both orgs enjoy it, I have with me the always lovely Andrew Chris. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I look uh, forward to uh, crapping all over uh, BSR tonight. Oh man, I love to I love to hear it because I plan on doing the same to Pulse. 
Any chance I get. I gotta move this name tag over a little bit. Professionalism. <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about your black sewer rat. All right. So, uh, well, these clowns. BSR. Uh, currently sitting at 3 0. Uh, picked up a uh, forfeit win last week. Um, inexplicably, Dilly's on top the uh, leaderboard for the team. Uh, leading the charge with the. Uh, Saves. Uh, not surprised at that. Um, he is uh, slightly shooting better than me in league play uh, at 19%. Um, and who was uh, who was playing tonight? I think Cole and uh, Midpoint. Uh, we got Sherlock on uh, standby um, so pretty I think this is a as much as it pains me to say this is a pretty solid team probably one of Dilly's better put together teams top to bottom um, that is scary to hear yeah. Because I remember long ago going with uh, on the first Ethos team going against... I think just at that point you were just BP Best Boats Club, right? Yeah. If I remember. Yeah, that, uh, that unfortunate uh, acronym, which I was... Might as well get this out in, out in the open, which I was only against, but... Hey, what do I know about rebranding? Um, yeah, that was probably... And I thought that was like probably one of Dill's best teams, if that was uh, Dill, uh, Chirp City, and uh, Squiddy. Yep. Um, oh man, that was a fun group to go against too. I loved it. Yeah. The only thing the, the only thing you never knew is uh, what you were getting. Uh, <laughs> if you were getting a team that was going to show up for the week, or that was just going through the motions. Um, a problem that's still kind of persisted to this day. Um, you know, so when I look at when I look at uh, what's on the other side of the field, um, you know, despite whatever's happened in the past, uh, you know, you know, m my thoughts are well. You know, I think I think uh, Proxima is gonna take this, and I'm just gonna go out there on record now, with my wonderful uh, track record in predicting things too. So, um, but uh. <laughs> I, I know I also I you know also kind of know how things work behind the scenes. So, you know, yeah. I just it's the, it's the beauty of it all yeah <laughs> I favor I you know I favor in the dark you know kind of the team that looks better on paper and you know not to not to you know put the old caster jinx or Gibbs's guessing on uh, Proxima but like you know I do kind of I do kind of like them in this match probably in five but oh I 100% agree I think this game will be it or this series will be very close because Proxima has a tendency to scare me when it comes to the same thing you mentioned with Black Sewer Rats is showing up. I mean, Pulse usually is fairly consistent, but when it comes to rotate rotating properly to saving balls it's and keeping pressure, they have a very hard time maintaining that throughout a five-game series. I know in recent series I've seen them struggle, especially they may get one or two up, but if a team starts to really put pressure on them, they have a tendency to kind of fall apart. Or even, like, let teams come back into games where they really shouldn't. <laughs> Brancy, shut up. <laughs> Brancy, say, can Paul's consistent in the same sentence? I know, right? I'm shocked. But I just played two seasons with them, so... 
There's one thing he is, it's oddly consistent. Oh, since Brancy's here, no, yeah, I, speaking of doing abduction by subtraction. <laughs> love you, Brancy. Uh, we love you, Brancy. <laughs> and the coal replaced Brancy smile. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. But I guess I'll talk for a second about Proxima. Two, currently 2-0, two and o, they had a bye week last week and still have yet to play, so we are going to wait on the results for that one. But besides that, I don't really have much else to say about them except for it is the same usual combo that we've had the last couple seasons of Pulse, Nova, and Br the Brain. Excuse me. Whew. I mean, these guys have a lot of experience under their belt, especially playing as a team, and I think it could be said as well for BSR. Because I know what, Dilly and Cole have probably been playing together for the greater half of the last four or five seasons that I can remember. Mm, it's a... The BSR team is kind of a... semi-throw-together team. Um, but Dill has played with everyone, um, you know, outside of, you know, this circuit. Um... And like, so, you know, he, he knows, he knows what he's getting into when he assembles a roster. You know, that, would you usually say that he assembles a roster around himself or that he kind of fills the role that he's asked to fill? Um, I think it's actually a little from column A, a little from column B. Okay. Um. Like, you know, Dill has started to figure out his role and where he needs to be on the field. And, you know, you know, and that kind of kind of reflects a little bit. Um, Dill, you should be paying attention in game and not sitting. In chat. <laughs> Dill, you should be paying attention to it. Come on, buddy. You know how this works. I've yelled at you multiple times for this. <laughs> On multiple streams. We can't have both the old owners in the chat at the same time. <laughs> Come on, guys. That just, like, has to break some kind of... Some kind of universal constant. But I guess as we sit here and as he's now stopped paying attention to that... To the game itself... Throw your two cents in chat. I like it. But how about we get this thing started? I'm, I'm all for it. As we watch the nice pro, nice ETS Proxima and the ever-beautiful Black Pua Rat square off again. Ooh, and my mods are on it with the poles. I like it. Uh, starting off on the kickoff for the side of Proxima, we have Depressed Pulse. I... He needs to change that name. Insight Nova in the brain. And for the side of BBU, we have Midpoint to Dilly and S. Holmes. All a lot of familiar faces if you know the different org. But I guess this is more... I don't know exactly how many times they've squared off, but still yet to be a fun match for this one. Oh, pull as well. As, oop, as Midpoint... Taking the first point here for the side of Black Sewer Wrath as we see a nice, beautiful, and very typical double commit out of Nova and Brain on the defensive side. 1 0 for Sewer Wrath. Uh, well, so uh, Proxima has uh, some double commit issues, do they? Yes, they do. Mm. They tend to do, as we see another one, almost double committing off the back wall. But, I mean, that's what I was talking about earlier, is they have a very tough rotation, and if they're not feeling on, then it's very, very ugly to watch as the game goes, series goes on. That's a good save there by Nova. And S. Holmes not able to get back to that one, as Brain was now lock on the first goal of the Series 4, Proxima, over the head of S. Holmes. 
So get your bingo cards and out, BBU folks. Third man. Get your bingo cards. Third man pushed up too far for BSR. Bank and they can see the Steam notifications. You could just okay. <sighs> it's a valiant effort, though. What the heck are they telling me to mute the stream for? What the heck are you guys telling me to mute the stream for? It looks fine. Okay. They tell me. Ooh, nice flick there by Dilly as well. Oh, wait a minute. I know exactly why. I think. No? I don't. Hold on. Well, we have to wait for this. That's exactly why. Right there. Bingo. Hopefully, that fixes the issue. I feel like someone messed something up last time they used it. But no, so far, I mean, seems exactly like the game we were expecting. A pulse with an absolutely gorgeous shot. And just... Both teams seem to be feeling each other out. Much else to say. Not much else to say in that regard. Yeah. Are you seeing anything else from your from Black Sewer Rats that are stereotypical? Or are you seeing some different changes they might be pulling out today? Uh, well, right now, aside from that, you know, goal, you know, and not to discredit Brain, you know, sometimes you just got to throw it down on net. Um, you know, they don't seem to be, like, running over each other yet. Um, which is usually, you know, I feel their problem. It's usually on the defensive end. Do you think it's usually because of panic, or do you just think they naturally do it as a team? Ayo, they can't hear you. What the heck? Okay. Now I have... Desktop audio cut out. That's... Okay. Then maybe I didn't fix it. Okay. I boy I'm sorry to everyone on BBU who has had trouble hearing and or been doing things, because someone messed it up last time they used it. And it wasn't me. I blame OBS. I, oh, what a shot by Dilly as all three members of Proxima doing what they do best and huddling around the fire in net. And right there, Bacon blaming on Dilly. And right there, the exact problem that Proxima seems to continue to have is bunching up double commits. And again, right there, almost seems like all of them just stood around the fire and watched that ball go in. Still a good shot by Dilly, but both teams not really looking too mechanical, just looking to take advantage of each other's misfortune. As Nova puts it on. Honestly, Dilly scared me there for a second with how he went up. Can Nova put it on? He does. That's a first. Oh boy. And I see the running over each other as we see S. Holmes and Midpoint decide to give themselves a little, you know, fist bump hug in front of the net. Hmm. Yeah, the two people I would not expect to be running into each other. So that implies, and tell me if I'm wrong, but that Dilly double commits a lot. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I like to hear. So both teams have a double commit problem. Both player, both teams have one, and Brain might get punished. No, he does not. I saved there. It was a good shot as well. Put that almost in a place where he couldn't reach, and Dilly not able to get the touch. <laughs> and teams like Proxima right now really want that ball to stay in their half. As BBU seem to be doing a good job of keeping it in, and as I say that, of course, Dilly has to make sure I'm always wrong. Yeah, Dilly doesn't like people being right. <laughs> Don't get the half one brain able to put it on target. Midpoint's there, and the net for Proxima is actually open if they can get it over, but unfortunately not able to. And what do you think? Game one overtime. Who you got? I don't know. Um, 
Oh my. Oh, oh my. That's well, so much for that idea. <laughs> and what a shot for midpoint. Gets the first. And Fakes it. are we going to be nice enough to call it a fake or are we going to say he missed the air dribble? I mean, we could, we could say he missed the air dribble, but, you know, I like to say it was a fake. Everybody's faking. Immediately. <laughs> Everybody's faking. That's what... I <laughs> Uh, everybody's faking. I love that. We see that. We're probably going to see that way too often here. I'll save this for them just in case. But game one ends up going towards Black Sewer Rats off of midpoint. Have a uh, nice little air dribble fake against Nova. And, uh... Knock on wood for the caster curse, but I have a nice gut feeling that this probably won't change. Since, we'll, since you're going to be nice and sim very sympathetic to Holmes joining the wrong team. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Holmes has now officially started throwing. Well. Uh, <laughs> Sherlock pulling the squiddy. Quiddy was notorious well, you know for what? joining I'd... the wrong team. Well, you gotta have a special talent somewhere. It doesn't have to be a good one, though. Just like how I always say, tell Nova he has the mechanics of a plat and rotates like a gold. Ooh. It's a talent. I mean, it's something. <laughs> it's something. But we see this ball go off the backboard. Brain gets a touch right out to Dilly. Can Dilly put it on? No, just a hair bit high as BSR seemed to want to keep this ball inside Proxima's half, bouncing it off the backboard and continuing to apply pressure as Proxima, I'm pretty sure, have not touched the ball in at least eight touches. Oh, and there we go, finally breaking the chain. But for how long? So I was going to try and put it down. Midpoint with the backflip. And I think right there, we also saw it again, your team as well. Double committing inside the net. Dangerous for both of these squads. Tried to, oh, and midpoint had to do them like that. Oh. I was see midpoint now go for another shot. Not able to get it off the demo. Goes into the corner and Dilly Bar is there knock it away. Or sorry, not knock it away, knock it in. The brain knocks it away. I'm already rooting for the wrong team. Or the right team, I guess. Whatever one you want to look at. But how do you think game two is going to shape out? You think it's going to be very similar to game one? Well, I love trying to start a conversation and then immediately just Man. making me have to stop. I should just... Man, I should just stop <laughs> talking. It looks like they Every time I speak, someone now. does something. <laughs> Oh, man. And both these squads have trouble with rotation, but right there, I mean, beautifully executed. I can't say anything bad about it. This ball flows to the side. Brain with another uncharacteristic whiff, and oh my. Dilly doing his thing. And that's a nice deal from Pulse. Oh, unfortunately, Dilly misses, and yeah, I mean, what else is Pulse going to do? He has to try and say he carries somehow. He doesn't have top leaderboard. What's good's he for? At least see this ball go off. Nova is there, and oh, look at that. Another beautiful double commit. Brain now with no boost. Oh, picks up the corner boost and gets launched to the side. Brain going to go for a double, gets it. And Dill, and Dilly Bar. <laughs> Did Dilly say his hands weren't cold? I don't know, but man, with that uh, that committal, that commitment to missing the ball, it's a shame he's roster locked to the Rats. I could use him on my team. <laughs> oh, don't do yourself so negative, Andrew. I think you guys could win. I think you guys would do great with him. He fits right into the style. I wish I could say the same for 
Proxima as they are able to double commit for another save, but just barely. And I get, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> um, I can't, I, I can't cast this. I don't know how what to say to that. Four people in the midfield all decided that no one wanted to touch the ball for ten seconds. And I mean, isn't this just where you dunk on everyone and say, "This is C3 to GC1 gameplay, folks"? <laughs> I... Don't raise your expectations, everyone. These teams may be undefeated, but you just got to think: if they're undefeated, what do the other teams look like? Oh, I I shouldn't crap on the other teams that exist. They probably could beat him tomorrow. As Pulse gets it off the backboard, Sherlock's there. Dilly 50 away by Brain. Pulse putting that ball on target and uh, love to see Proxima having a midfield hug time. I don't know where they'd be without their mo emotional support. It's the meeting of the Brain minds. with a moth. As we see Paul's been homed. 50 that ball to mid midfield to midpoint. Brain gets the pop over, and now Sherlock has to sit back on the back wall. Able to get one. Dilly Bar jumps for it again. Pulse and Brain jump for it again. Dilly gonna go for the flick. Not able to get it. And oh my. Okay, luckily it wasn't Dilly in net. About 30 seconds left on the clock. We have 2-1 here for Proxima. And if I remember correctly, they were in this situation last... Or no, I'm wrong. They were they were close to this situation last time. But right now, I think it is reversed as Black Sewer Rats need to get a goal right here. Dilly Bar is going to put it on net. Can Holmes... Where's Proxima? Um, anything you want to say about that? Man, that's some that's some uh, rats defense right there. Just no one, no one's there. That's that's rough. They they say the best defense is a good. Oh no, Dilly. Holmes in a bad spot. Can Paul put it on? No, he can't. Can Brain? Oh, that's unfortunate. Dilly doing typical Dilly thing. Yep. And whipping in front of the net. Kind of left Holmes in a really, really bad situation there. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Holmes did the best he could, but just not able to get the touch that he needs to get it out. And oh no, midpoint has a chance. Well, so much for that. As Nova can try and 50 down. Dilly's there, puts it still up into the air. Brain's gonna knock it down though. And that gives Proxima their first win. As if Dilly's gonna keep the ball up. <laughs> I mean, he did for a second. You gotta give him some credit there. I mean, but... you know, so can I. <laughs> I could spray the ball around like that. And you know what? It makes sense. Adili is rocking the Blizzard Wizard. Well, at least he has that. He's not... <laughs> Actually, two of them are rocking... Oh my, I've never seen that before. But what do you think the Black Sewer Rats need to fix? I think... Alright, BBU folks. Stop me if you've heard this before. They need to fix their back end. And... Oh, Dilly's... Oh. So they're bringing in coal for Dilly? I... Yep. That's right. <laughs> okay. Cole, in the chat, you confuse me as all get up because you said rotation. It's like, stop, you've heard me before. He immediately said it, and I was not ready for that. I thought he was going to predict what you said. Okay. By the way, Cole coming in for Dilly. Do you think they'll be better off? Wow, my voice just cracked. Do you think they'll be better off with Cole in the game? I mean, based on how Dilly played there in game two, I think a traffic cone would be better. <laughs> At least they might avoid that. Yeah. Or maybe a shooting tutor. 
to see that bright orange car and say, you know what, I want to hit that. And that is Proxima's language of midpoint with the shot on target. What a good shot from him. And already making a difference here in this game. As Cole dots him up on that ball in the midfield. And you know what? Since Dilly's not in here, Dilly would have missed that. Oh, God, yeah, he would have. So, Dilly, are you going to blame the PS5 controller instead of the Xbox? Or, no, sorry, the other way around. Are you going to blame beyond Xbox for why you couldn't hit a ball straight? I guess we have to wait for his reply as Cole jumps up, gets a touch off one, gets a second one past Brain, and Cole almost doing it himself. <laughs> the life is much fun for Dilly. <laughs> yeah, except he complains all the time. I bet he does. I mean, I can't blame him. Input lag is... Or, sorry, not input lag, but, uh... No, that's what I mean. Yeah, input lag is a terrible. But home popping it to mid. No one there. And Nova's gonna hit up the Pulse. Pulse puts it mid. But way over the backboard, and... Proxima trying to keep any semblance of pressure that they have, but Cole was not going to let it happen. His midpoint almost puts it on. And here we start to see the boost stealing. Oh my. As, b b b what? What am I watching? Nova with the fake in midfield. So big brain, he faked out Sherlock Holmes, but didn't really do anything for him. <laughs> the net's open and brain pre jumps. And again, do you notice any differences with Cole being in the game so far that, oh no, I stopped talking. I mean... I want to save my Cole. PSR is a little faster. Because they don't have Old Man Dill there. Thing and faster wall. That's what I like to see as we now see a pass down into your own net. Midpoint puts it high. Depressed Pulse is up. Cole there to stuff it in. And yeah, I mean, Sewer Rats right now just seem to be putting everything on Proxima's defense, or at least on their backboard. And as someone who knows Proxima, oh no, and then we have another double commit. For all our beautiful ETS people, let's get out the clicker of how many times will Diesel say double commit in a, in a series. I believe right now we are at seven. And Nova, with the shot on target, after the pulse of demo, and Cole just not able to predict where it was going, stay up long enough to block it. Nice goal there. Yep. I wouldn't call that a nice goal. I. Yeah, I think if Cole had any boost, he would have had that ball, which is unfortunate for him. But I guess it was a good job by Nova to put it on, and right after Sherlock does not want to lose the lead. <clears throat> As midpoint pops it off the ceiling in midfield, and Holmes able to speed up past Nova and put it above Pulse. Hey, little girl, come here. And my dog's ignoring me. But who won here for Black Sewer Rats? <laughs> Bacon, see, I would let you do that on my stream if I was, you know, streaming it not on the Ethos Twitch, but unfortunately here, uh, there's a thing called copyright laws. As de as much as we hate them. And a beautiful double commit. That's number eight. Uh, we see. Oh. <laughs> Me and performance. We see Nova trying to go for a double. Not able to. Midpoint able to tap it up. Holmes able to tap it up. Cole is there for the next touch. Not able to put the ball on, though. As we see Brain rotating ball side yet again. Getting bumped. Nova going to try and put it on target. Midpoint is there for the save. And with a minute and ten seconds left, BBU trying to hold on to the lead, but Pulse doesn't like being down. Yet he's depressed. 2-2 Two -two tie game. And I don't know exactly what to say that except for good shot. There wasn't very many, much of an opening for him. 
Rat's doing an invitation of my uh, climber's team defense. <laughs> you see, with the clang, as the clangers, you hit the ball hard. I don't think I've seen a powerful clear out of any of. Oh well, of course. Thanks, Cole. As he gets a pinch off the thigh wall. As the, oh my! Midpoint seems to be dotting people up this series. As a beautiful touch to mid, Brain cheated up on the near post. And Nova not able to get back at a beautiful bang. And Blammy, mean, Black Sewer Rats, for all it's worth, are consistently answering the calls that Proxima have on them as Midpoint gonna pass it mid again. Kid Cole put it on. What a shot! And it seems like your uh, BSR are firing on all cylinders right now. Huh. Man, is this just gonna come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes? Yes, I mean, that's tier two. Again, this is, as you, you said it best yourself, this is C3 GC1. And Poke, you can complain every time about you not getting a gifted sub, but I'm not gifting you a sub. You will watch the ads and you will like it. <laughs> Actually, you know what, that should be, if Ethos ever has a bingo card, that should be what we put on it. How many times is Poke going to complain about watching a one minute ad? As Holmes going to try and knock one more on in Cole! Decides he wants to play for the wrong team for about five seconds. So he knocks that one away. Uh, to be fair, that was probably going to be saved. I mean, it was, but might as well make the process a little easier. But, what a, well, what a well-fought answer by BSR in that game. Any words from the wise? I mean... Rats probably need to close this out now. Um, Cause I don't know. This series looks way too unpredictable with the play that's happening on the field. So, but I mean, you know, I'm into pattern recognition, so I think we're going to see a game five because Proxima is going to win this one. I don't know. I mean, it helps not having the dilly whiff. Because we saw that consistently in games one and two. Yeah. But Cole, not as much. In fact, it seems the moment that Cole got in, it seems like he was just making Proxima kind of... I don't want to say scared. They were just entirely frightened of him every time he went for the ball. And I would be too after a man just says rar to me in chat. All right, Poke, um, I'm not reading that comment back, but you can have fun thinking that. As the, I'm never going to hear the end of Paul hitting this shot. I can already tell it now. No one there. As Paul, no one was there, unfortunately, midpoint was near post. Dilly says that his team literally blocked him from playing again. His pulse! That's more like it, pulse! There we go. That's exactly what I'm used to. Dilly LFT. Well, Dill, I might have a spot on Clangers next season. <laughs> you hear that, Dilly? You've always got a home to go to. I mean, he knows what he's getting into if he joins my team. <laughs> Uh, you could, you know what, Dilly? And if that doesn't suit your fancy, you could join Proxima. And that, you know, is also terrifying in its own right. Because that means you have to deal with Nova and Paul. And even I don't want to do that as Holmes puts that ball on beautifully in the corner. <laughs> Back. And, oh, look at that. Number nine, everybody. Put it down. Another double commit on the defense. It's quite pretty. 
If I didn't know any better, I believe they would be playing the sport of synchronized flying, but Brain with a path down, Nova pre-jump, and nothing comes out of it. At, yep. You know, I see a problem here. Proxima, again, leaves the net open. I thought I told him to stop doing that. Now we see Cole take the ball side and literally do not encourage them. Please. <laughs> you encourage them and they never stop. As Brain and Paul end up going for a pinch in midfield. Why, Poke? Why? But Paul's going off the sidewall. Bump coming off from Nova, but midpoint there to knock it away. And Cole gonna try and get the pass mid to midpoint, but not able to get the second touch. As we see, midpoint get 50 away by Pulse. Cole was in net, but Cole was no longer in net. Brain almost missed it. And again, tie game. So besides the last game, I don't think anyone's taken more than a one goal lead in this series. I think you are correct. I guess that just shows how close these two teams are. I or maybe no one wants it. <laughs> or maybe no one wants it. I know Proxima don't. They try to throw every series they're in. And right now, being one game down, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Cole gets second touch. Holmes is there, going to get the touch. Bah! Ooh, Nova barely getting it. <laughs> Proxima defending like they don't want it. Poke, you are 100% correct. Is Pulse now going to try and put it on for BBU? As Holmes not able to get the touch on target afterwards. Cole gets 50 with one. Puts it mid to Brain. Brain flicks it high. Gonna try and beat up midpoint. Midpoint not being beaten. And no one in net for Proxima just barely missed. And yeah, again... Sewer Rats right now just seem to be firing on all cylinders, especially on the offense and taking advantage of Proxima wanting to give each other nice dark special hugs inside a net. Pulse gonna try and ball, but unfortunately let the ball ball him. Hawk oh, the baby. Billy, I don't want to know what you're doing in your personal life to where toss the baby is a thing that you use unironically. Ditto. <laughs> Oh my, oh, hey, number 10, and I think it should result, oh no, midpoint can't get over to it. Midpoint's been hanging around it. me too long, missing that wide open net. Yeah, I'll be fair to him, he didn't have boost, but Proxima is seriously trying to hand them the ball on a silver platter. And at that point, Brain tried to toss it up to Coles. And with a minute left, I mean, I don't know how. But it's anyone's game. Oh. See, Holmes put that ball on target. No, not well, not on target. Sorry, no, not able to get a touch. <laughs> and Lily, you're a hundred percent right. They need someone on defense. It's Cole trying to go under. Get said under, and a double commit from BBU could spell trouble. But Pulse has no boost, and. Oh. Oh. It's a Mundo pinch. That's now midpoint. Gonna try and get the pass mid. Gets it past one. Can't get it past two. Haven't have watched defense. Haven't seen that from any team this series. Dilly, the reason you're half the re actually, I'd say you're like 30 or not 30. You're like 60 percent of why they didn't have defense. As well, put on target. Holmes not able to get there. They're gonna force a game five if Thura Rat can't score. Is there ever a point, Ander, where you hate being right? Uh. No, that just means I can rub it in everyone's face. Well, don't worry, Brain's trying to make sure you're not right as he sets that ball into midfield. Almost gets one. Cole is there, gonna keep it up. 
BBU have a chance. As Holmes with the 50, but not able to keep it up. And a game number four go to Proxima and How did they force a game five? I just cannot fathom it. <laughs> oh boy. Do we do you think we'll see anything new or exciting inside this game five? That every team that either team's just been holding on to till the final seconds to surprise everybody. I mean, honestly, it's gonna have to be someone playing clean defense. I would love to see uh, a siege from BSR. And now. BSR subbing in Dilly for midpoint. Now I'm just interested to see if Dilly's going to have a vengeance against us because I think we've been doing nothing but talking smack to him the entire time. Well, I mean, you know, he has deserved it, so. Fair, he has 100% deserved it. It's Dilly's time to shine. They're letting the Rat King out of the cage. Dilly, I would not go around calling yourself the Rat King in public. I feel like that puts a bad image. Yeah, you don't want to see the PPU Discord. Oh, I do. I do see it all the time. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that's that's hidden is cringy. Well, there's a reason. All right, Dilly. Had an open net. Missed. Brain had an open save as well. Also missed. So, you know, at least it's both ways. As the, oh, huh? A good passing play. Dilly puts it upfield to Holmes. Nova out of position by a mile and not able to read the bound or not able to get a block. I guess. I mean, they just caught him off guard by a mile. And relevant. What's up? Glad to be here. As Pulse puts it high. Cole not able to get a touch. Can Pulse put it on? Nope. Fakes it for Brain. Brain tries the air dribble. And <laughs> BBU hugging on the yep. on the defense. Dilly with his trademark running over his teammate who has the ball. Oh, Nova with the save. What a s save. Brain putting it to the side and giving up on the ball. That's what we love to see. Giving up early. The trademark here at Ethos. And now Cole passing it over to Brain. Brain going to go for a second touch. Not able to get it. And this ball stays on the BBU half. As we approach. Oh no. Man, BBU bunched up like a bunch of plats there. And Cole going for the squishy save with another teammate in net. A very bold strategy. See how well works out for him. And Dilly again getting in front of somebody. But Cole somehow, some way putting it on. What Paul thinks since to save the ball, he should go backwards into net. Bold strategy, Cotton. See how it works out for you. <laughs> but with that, Black Sewer Rats, for the second time this in ever in this series, take a multiple gold lead. Now, can they hold? So maybe it? that. That's the question by Dilly not whiffing the ball. Well, we've got 315, so... 315, and Dilly already starting off strong, but so is Proxima. Holmes not able to put it on. Cole gonna try and take this time for multiple, but misses. Holmes. Down to Brain. Brain to no one. And again, now we see Proxima just kind of... Banging the ball around. No real no real sense of urgency, no real meaning to half their touches. Just kind of throwing it into the open field and saying, go get it, ghost. Oh, I thought something was wrong. It was my dog snoring in the background. Holy hopefully they can't hopefully chat can't hear that. 
As Nova, the moment I look away, able to put that ball on, and oh, Cole with the miss. That's unusual. Very uncharacteristic. But you know what I can say? Dilly was in the area. I blame it on him. I mean, I'll buy that. <laughs> That's what. Yes. Paul tries to put it up. Dilly gonna get a second touch. Cole able to hit the ball to the wall. And uh, all three of Proxima bunched up again for about a half second as Nova got the ball and the demo. Poke. Poke why. <laughs> just. Just why. No one wants to see that. Ever. As Dilly puts it up, Cole can put it down, but does not. And Dilly helping out Proxima. <laughs> Dilly, classic back pass there. The back pass to no one. It's a very undervalued strat in Rocket League. It truly helps end games faster. Brandon over going for a few touches. Dilly's trailing behind. Cole is there. Going to get one touch out. Dilly now forced to make a touch. Gets one. Can he get two? No, but he will bump Brain out of the way, it looks like. And oh, that's unfortunate. For once, not Dilly in the mix. Oh, but don't worry, Dilly wants to make sure I know we acknowledge him by running over Cole. And Holmes almost hitting a double tap. So much going on here with one minute left. Holmes puts it on, but somehow the Proxima double commit actually saves them. That's the one thing I had to describe Proxima 2. It is double commits that somehow work. It seems to be their mantra tonight especially, except Rain able to get past one. Cole not able to 50 feet away. And with 30 seconds left, oh no, Mason said something. Nova tried to get an air dribble on. Dilly save. Brain puts it on. We have a save from Holmes. Put on again. Not on target. Proxima doing everything they can to put it in the net, but also everything they can to miss. As this ball popped high enough, Dilly just has to get a touch. Beat ends up bumping Nova in the process. Holmes gonna just try and put the pressure on. Cole gonna put it into the gap, and could that be the game? No, Pulse keeps it alive. Cole's gonna fake it. But Nova's there, Nova gets Oh no, Dilly. Dilly oh no. In. No, Dilly did it. No! <laughs> this is Rocket League! This is Rocket League! This is Dilly Bar! <laughs> oh, so, Dill! If you told me that Dilly was gonna whiff a save or back pass it to the enemy team to score, I would have believed it. But not like that. As Cole not able to get the touch, Dilly is up, making the save. And we got a game. Brancy, we've had a game the entire time. I just can't tell if it's Rocket League or Charades. Mm. As Brain puts it off to the side, no one from Proxima to follow. And a game five overtime. I guess you can't ask for much more, but Nova forced to make a little bit of an awkward touch. Cole puts it mid, but Dilly gets bumped out. Now Holmes gonna try to put out the backboard. Can he get the double to win? Oh, Holmes had an opportunity. Dilly can d no Dilly no. Okay, cool. Dilly doesn't. I didn't want to those... give him credit. <laughs> I didn't want to give him credit. I don't want. Dilly does not have a redeeming story arc here. We're... It's not happening. It's Dilly, if he's Paul, Paul's still on the ball, but gets a bump on him. Spring gonna try and take it to the wall. Dodges one demo. Not able to beat out Dilly, puts off the backboard, Cole is there, puts it on! And Black Sewer Rats come away with it on top. Cool. Dilly trying as hard as he can to throw the game. But... What a series. Truly, what a series we had. Yes, that, that, 
Whew. That was a series. I, I'm not going to say it was the worst series I've casted because I've been stuck hanging around, you know, for a team that disappeared midway through their final game because a BBU team doesn't know how to save replays. <laughs> but... I think there's a lot of tape to go over for both sides to kind of figure out what went wrong. Um, you know, and you know, both sides could look to you know to clean up clean up their back end. Oh my! Ah. Uh. Yes, both sides had a lot of trouble with double commits, which sometimes works. But especially what just surprised me the most was just the whiffs on defense. Both, I mean, both sides just would go for touches and just nothing would come out of them, or they just slap the ball to a random spot in the field and say, "Okay, who's next?" Dog, your opinion was not asked for. No. What? Dog. Sorry. No, you're good. Mine's snoring in the background, so hopefully they can't. Hopefully, chat can't hear it. Mine's being needy. <laughs> Relevant, you say you taught him all the. Okay. Relevant says, I play RL. I taught Dilly all the throwing he knows. Relevant, I find that hard to believe. There is no way one single man could teach Dilly how to throw a game harder. No, Dilly was just a natural throwing, trust me. I've been playing with him since... Season 3. And, uh... <laughs> Dilly's just a natural at, you know, throwing and getting in the way and, you know, all that nonsense. I'll say that is that ability to throw, not only with the failed back path, but then the failed pass in the midfield that went in, that ended up being the goal for, to put it into OT. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Someone should clip that. And we'll see if we can get that into the IGL highlight reel. We should. We absolutely should. Show the beauty of the two orgs coming together and both crapping on Dilly. <laughs> Dilly. <laughs> I blame my teammates. That's why I'm not SSL. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's why you're C2 or whatever. All C2s blame their <laughs> teammates. That's why they're not SSL. Docking. Uh, Bacon, why do you have to take it from turning and, you know, trashing on Dilly? It's all of a sudden saying some something stuff. I mean, come on, man. Uh, but either way, I think we're going to call it at that. I don't think we have really anything else here to mention. But thank you again to BBU and Ander for coming out tonight and really showing off the fun of the rivalry. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had to we had to spruce this series up somehow, right? <laughs> Paul saying BBU versus seat those finals. Paul, there's no way you guys are making it to the finals. That's putting a lot of hope on yourselves. I mean, you know, but again, you never know. They were Paul. They are four and zero, and now 
two and one. I mean, there there's a chance, but all they need to be is on the opposite side of the bracket from BSR. Then you're saying there's a chance. Because I think with that win, BSR now clinch playoffs. Well, they probably had it last week, but I think now they at least clinch a middle of the road seating. Yeah, probably with their tiebreakers, they get in at three and three. You know, which would be, you know, a very deal like thing to do is their team to back in at three and three in the playoffs. Make it in three three in the playoffs, then try and run the table all the way to the finals. Yeah. Which they, you know, which still likes to, you know, speaking of past cores, likes to remind people of. <laughs> Bill, you better not still not be talking about when you beat us in TOZ. I mean, I didn't want to bring it up, but that was in his DM. Like, you know, you know, <laughs> hey, you'll be casting with Diesel, with Ethos. TOC, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, really? Darn. The only one of these times I will get you in this booth with me and we'll have a fantastic time remembering how we still got the first place trophy. <clears throat> mm. what? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's Man, that's Black Dragon territory. They yeah. threw hard yeah, against you guys. Yeah. I'm sure the VODs <laughs> I'm sure the VOD still exists for that too. I'm pretty sure I cast that. It, you they might still be. If it would, if if BBU if I cast that, it's the VODs for that are still on the BBU channel. I'll have to go back and look, because that was a long time ago. Well, that'd be what, two years now? Almost? Dang, remembering when Dilly was good. I mean, he was kind of trash then, too. He was getting carried by Chirp and Squiddy. Yeah, that's fair. I don't remember. I just remember the circumstances of... Oh, look! Oh, Relevant, thank you for following. You scared the crap out of me. I <laughs> With the Discord follow again. I... <sighs> Uh. You know, Dilly, that's fair. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, right, buddy? We don't have to worry about that anymore. Poke. Well, actually, I guess, if you're talking about, like, the uh, Invitational, but... I think. I don't remember. So. Relevant, we're having a nice conversation about Rocket League. Then you gotta bring in feet picks. Hmm. You're just that down bad, aren't you? And they egg, and they keep egging Poke on. I, uh, boy. Don't worry, Poke. One of these days, I'll finally have the gall to ban you. And Twitch chat just going Twitch chat. Yep. Oh boy. Let's see. Do I stop it now, or do I just let it run its course? Because it's either it runs its course here, or it runs its course in Ethos chat, and I really <laughs> don't want to see it, but. I guess no matter what, I have to see it. I have poke giving out raid orders. You want to see what? Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea, poke. That's not a bad idea at all. Well, you know, what? we'll be nice to Evan. We'll do that. See what he says. One of his friends that will be. actually correction if there's an actual IGL caster who's live right now we're gonna go to them first because 
I may be nice, but I'm not that nice. Who's live right now? Pyro's live. That's a better option. That's Fortnite Pro League. We don't care about that. We're Rocket League. Hmm. But with all that, we're going to go raid Pyro now. A well loved caster in the community. So, again, thank you to Ander, to BBU, for coming out to this wonderful event. And hopefully we get to do this again here in the playoff. Get a nice little rematch going. Yeah, both teams will have to keep their end of the bargain, though. I'm not so sure about Proxima. I'm not so sure about the rats, but, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I guess we will have to see in what Paul's... I'm just ignoring you. Thank you everyone for coming out, and hopefully we'll see you again in the next one. As we start the raid on wonderful Pyro. Have a good night, everyone. Behave in Pyro's chat. <laughs> Please.